name is Den and welcome to the channel. I have successfully passed my first year optometry exams. I've got six exams this semester as opposed to eight exams last semester. Each of those subjects had their own exam. I've got two exams that both cover all three topics. And on top of those exams, we also have competency exams. I pass it, you can't matriculate onto OD2, so you have to repeat the subjects or repeat the year. First exam done. My three hardest exams are done. Fourth exam complete. One exam left. Leads us to the end of my exam period. Meaning I'm officially a second year Doctor of Optometry student at the University of Melbourne. Now, it's actually a week or two before semester begins and we've already been given a bunch of emails concerning what we're gonna be doing this year. Among the emails, we were given seven timetables that uh, we overlap and put onto one Google Calendar. We've also been given a research booklet. Now, this year, in second year, as part of our program, we actually have to perform a research project. So we need to acquire some data, analyze that data, and then write up a small thesis or dissertation and get this whole sort of research project assessed. Now in previous years, many students have had their work published as well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I'll be getting something published at the end of the year. We've got research in Parkinson's and the eye, research in diabetic retinopathy or how the vasculature of the eye works. There's a lot of adaptive optics. There's a lot of histology stuff. So there's a lot of interesting projects uh, going on. I've actually emailed a bunch of the supervisors. We met up over Zoom and uh, once that was done, all we had to do was rank our supervisors in order of preference. We've also been told that the pharmacology unit we're studying this semester, called Pharmacology for Health Professionals, is actually a much broader systemic based unit, but not just for optometry students. So we're doing it with other healthcare students as well. And it makes sense because uh, if someone comes into our clinic and they're on a, a certain array of medications, you need to know if they're gonna have any interactions, you need to know what they're for, you need to know how that's gonna affect their health in general, not just their eye health. Now on top of that broad general pharmacology unit, we're also gonna be having a few eye specific lectures. So we are going over ocular therapeutics on top of that because we will be prescribing certain drugs once we graduate. Also, you might recognize that I've actually got a different background than usual. Now this is because in the weeks leading up to semester, my partner and I have actually moved into a different place. So uh, it didn't always look like this. We definitely did some renovating and I'll show you guys that process right now on how we converted a very drab sort of empty room into what we have behind me. As you can see, we've put on the four strips. We've screwed them into studs so that now we can attach the shelves and their brackets to these strips of timber without having all the pressure on the drywall. All right, we are halfway complete, almost there. Hello everyone, it is in fact the next day and uh, I receive a vintage film camera so I'm uh, trying to get more into film photography and I thought it'd be a bit of fun because although we've always got our phones with us every time we're taking photos it's sort of you can take a hundred and look through all of them, sift through them with this you sort of just take the photo, hope for the best and find out in a couple of weeks time so I think it's a bit more genuine and a bit more sort of in the moment you have a, a bit of a closer connection between yourself, the camera and the subject um, but that's just a bit of fun. Now it is actually the next day and I am doing a bit more study today. So I'm looking through the practice we've got and sort of getting prepared for those. And uh, I'll get to study and see you guys afterwards.
All right, good morning everyone. This is the earliest I've ever had to wake up for uni. Not fun, but I guess we'll get used to it one way or another. Today I've just got lectures for the first half of the day and then for the second half of the day I've got my first lab of semester. We're doing a preclinical lab and I think we're doing a bit of revision on last semester so we're doing a full refraction to find some prescription and maybe some other stuff. Got a, an old croissant and a small salad. I don't know if that'll keep me through the day because we've only got half an hour break between the lectures and the lab. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. So while well, I've got a spare second, I'll catch you guys up. Today we've got an ophthalmic dispensing lecture. So ophthalmic dispensing is all to do with lenses, spectacles, probably contact lenses, things of that nature, and the optical physics of how these optical devices actually work. Now, the first skill we're gonna learn in this lecture is called hand neutralization. It's where if someone gives you a pair of glasses and you don't know what their script is, you can neutralize the glasses and figure out the script using little trial lenses and things like that. And our first prac for this subject is going to be that exact skill. We're going to be given a bunch of random glasses and we have to try and figure out exactly what their scripts are, including the spherical component and the astigmatic cylindrical component. Really interesting, the subjects we've got this semester, because we sort of started off focused really on the eye, apart from optical physics, which was quite general. And now we've uh, branched off into subjects that go more general. So we've got pharmacology, microbiology. Really giving me flashbacks to biomed, actually, which was my undergraduate degree before I did optometry. And then ironically, the optical physics subject, going from broad, is now going into a much more specific stream in which it's focusing on ophthalmic dispensing. Uh, yeah, I'm on my way home now, and I'll uh, see you guys there. In today's prac, we learnt about different frame materials, the manufacturing process for these materials, as well as the different types of lenses, tints, coatings, things of that nature. We also learnt how to use this instrument over here called a Geneva lensometer, which you can use to sort of find the power of a lens by measuring its front and back surfaces and doing a little bit of easy maths. We also learnt that skill of hand neutralization, which I mentioned to you earlier, where you move the frame in front of this sort of cross target, and depending on which direction the cross moves, you have to neutralize that movement using these trial lenses. If it moves in the same direction, it's a with movement. In the opposite direction, like here, that's an against movement. Uh, and when you've neutralized it, like here, it doesn't move at all. Just got back from uni. Here on the train station, it's a bit weird using a new train line. I had to make sure I was not missing any of the stations because of uh, the new place. But uh, the week's definitely been a bit hectic. It's good though, it's interesting, which is hectic. Having to wake up <laughs> earlier than last year, so it's going to take a bit of getting used to that. preclinical lab we re-familiarized ourselves with some of the skills and the equipment that might have faded over the semester break and just got more comfortable with using our hands in the lab again. <laughs> 